Actress Taylor Hickson sues production company over on-set disfigurement. Actress Taylor Hickson has filed a lawsuit against her latest film's production company after she says a gruesome on-set accident resulted in her face being disfigured, costing her roles in show business. Hickson had just turned 19 and was working on the set of the film Ghostland in December 2016 in Winnipeg, Manitoba when the accident happened. During one of her final days on set, she was engaged in an emotionally charged scene that forced her to pound on a glass door. The director, Paul Lagier, told the actress to pound harder and harder on the glass. According to the lawsuit, obtained by Deadline, she asked both the director and a producer if it was safe to continue banging on the glass, to which they replied in the affirmative. The suit states that the glass eventually shattered and her head and upper body reportedly fell through the door. The result was a large gash along the left side of Hickson's face that required about 70 stitches. The craft services lady held my face together with napkins in her hands, Hickson told Deadline. She went through so many napkins, there was so much blood. The star went on to note that the resulting scar has not only cost her work due to the time she was recovering, but left lasting insecurity and disfigurement that she believes will cost her more. Megan Kelly slams Jane Fonda after actress shades her over plastic surgery question. She has since undergone treatment including laser treatment and silicone treatment, but over one year post-incident, has been left with permanent scarring on the left side of her face, the suit states. It is unknown at this time if any further treatment, including plastic surgery, would reduce the visual appearance of the injury. The suit goes on to assert that negligence was to blame for the onset injury she sustained. Hickson claims that the use of either safety glass or a stunt double was proper procedure for a scene like this, but the director and producers did not accommodate those needs. It's worth noting that Lagier is not named as a defendant in the suit, only the film's production company, the ironically named Incident Productions.